Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot by Kachu again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is gonna be about who is coming towards you with a love offer, okay? So pile number one, you're going to be the pink rose sticker. Pile number two, you're going to be the yellow rose sticker. And pile number three, you're going to be the red rose sticker. So again, pile number one, pink rose sticker. Pile number two, yellow rose sticker. And pile number three, red rose sticker. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the rose sticker that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the pink rose sticker and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you with a love offer, my pal number one? Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Okay, let's see, what do we have here? We have the devil. So this person could be a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn here um this person i'm getting there is definitely an obsessive behavior here so this person could be obsessed with you um i don't know why i heard obsessively stalking you as well maybe they are stalking you online um this person is eager or anxious to come towards you with this love offer so let's see who's who's coming towards you with a love offer we have the hermit so this could be somebody who spends a lot of their time alone. This could be a bookworm individual. So this is somebody who immersed themselves in books, um, immersed themselves with literature. Um, I'm getting like this person could be a gym rat as well. So they spend a lot of their time at the gym, but it's somebody who is solo dolo, okay? This is somebody who's a lone wolf I'm getting. So who's coming towards you with a love offer? Ooh, we have the three of swords. So this person may have experienced some sort of a heartbreak or you may have rejected this person in the past. Maybe they tried to ask you out on a date or something like that previously and you denied them or maybe you couldn't at that time when they um, when they asked you uh, out or something like that. Yeah, this is somebody with the Knight of Cups. Maybe this person has, has tried on many occasion to ask you out but you've denied them maybe like either you sense that this person's obsessed with you or they're coming on to you very strong with the devil so they could come on to you very strong or this person has tried at on numerous occasions and you're like no I'm not interested or I'm not available there's some sort of hesitancy on your end coming towards this person I feel like this person could have an intimidating um, demeanor um, this person could be very like they have like 
I don't know why I heard heavy. They have a heavy presence, um, kind of like overbearing. At, uh, this could be somebody from your past, Six of Cups, but you know who this person is, okay? And you, I feel like you may know that this person has some sort of obsession with you or they've been trying to ask you out for a long time. I'm getting like consistently, persistently asking you out and you keep saying no. But this is somebody that you know with the Six of Cups. So who's coming towards you with a love offer? Yeah, we have the King of Swords. This person is trying to be strategic in their approach to asking you out. Um, this person can um, have issues with um, picking up social cues I'm getting with the King of Swords or they're emotionally unavailable or not in tune with their emotions. I feel like this person is more on the logical side of things than the emotional side. And maybe this person comes off as very stoic as well, like, you know, not showing any emotions, uh, being very stern or like there's something about them that is, you know, uh, they could come off as being cold as well I'm getting okay with the king of swords so who's coming towards you with a love offer what do we have here we have the four of wands so some of you may have met this person at a wedding at a gathering it could have been graduation this could be like because the six of cups is here so this could be like somebody from your past that you graduated with and maybe you kept in contact with this person, maybe in college or university, this person was persistently um, trying to get with you in college, but you're like, nah, I'm not ready for a relationship. I don't, I'm not looking for anything serious. I want to like focus on my studies. I want to graduate. You know, this is what I'm only mainly focused on. So maybe initially this person kind of backed off in the meantime and then now they want to pursue you again i feel like there could have been like some sort of um break between the two of you you guys haven't spoke to each other in a while okay yeah you see with the hangman as i said break there is there was like a, some sort of halt in this connection or this friendship because some of you could be a friend somebody that you friend zoned i'm getting like heavy on the friend zone for a lot of you pal number one that you friend zone this person um, there was a halt. There was a hes there, there's definitely hesitancy with the hangman towards this person. Okay, so who's coming towards you with a love offer? My pal number one. What do we have here? Ooh, seven of swords. Okay, so this person is definitely being strategic, and we have the devil at the bottom of the deck. So the devil again. So there's definitely some sort of toxicity here, or excessive behavior, or patterns of behavior. Like I said, this person may. Come off as very like um heavy like their energy is heavy like when you are around them maybe you feel anxious or you have like you know you're always um your anxiety level is spiking up when you are around them and the seven of swords coming out here because seven of swords could represent lie deception but it could also represent being strategic okay moving in silence so i'm getting like this person is more on the strategic side but this person could be very sneaky too so this is what i'm getting here with the seven of swords for some of you maybe you knew this person had a girlfriend or had a boyfriend and they were still trying to pursue you and you're not about that life so that could be another thing too maybe now they're single and now they feel like they could they're free to pursue you but you're like questioning this person's character if they were able to you know try to pursue you while they have a girlfriend like imagine if you go out with them what are they going to do behind your back? So I feel like a lot of you are like, nah, I'm not interested in somebody like that. Like you have a questionable character. So this is what I'm getting here. So who's coming towards you with a love offer? Yeah, this person, seven of pentacles, they have been waiting for a long time to come towards you with this love offer, or they have been persistently co going after you. I feel like this is somebody who is like persistent in their approach. Okay. We have the two of wands. Yeah, this person's contemplating on how they're going to come towards you with this love offer, how they're going to make you change your mind. Like this person's trying to make you change your, your mind. Yeah, they're definitely persistent. We have the eight of pentacles. This person's invested in trying to get you to say yes, trying to get you to approve or to go out with them, giving them the green light. We have the emperor. This person could be in a management position. They could have their own business. Uh, but you see with the um, emperor, I'm getting like this person could be very pushy, okay? Their energy is kind of like pushy. 
So who's coming towards you with a love offer? Wow, I just saw the Seven of Swords wanted to come out. Not the devil again, guys. I'm telling you, Capricorn energy. We have Capricorn. We have Aries. This person could be could love to indulge. Okay, with the devil and the Nine of Cups, they love to indulge. Um, they could be intoxicating. This person could be very attractive, very alluring. With the devil coming out twice. Uh, but there is an energy of toxicity about them that maybe that's throwing you off. Okay, so who's coming towards you with a love offer? What do we have here? We have the fool here. Yeah, this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you and they're hoping that you would take a leap of faith towards them. I feel like this person wants you to lower your guards down to give them a chance. And this person is not taking no for an answer. So who's coming towards you with a love offer? What do we have here? Yeah, five of swords. This person could be a little bit angry at the fact that like, you know what I'm getting? With the five of swords coming out here, maybe some of you, whenever this person asks you out on a date or try to make a move on you and you say no, you could kind of sense the five of swords energy coming out of them, but they're trying to conceal it with a smile or like, you know, with a fake smile, but you could tell underneath that smile that this person's pissed off. That they're angry they're livid okay so who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming towards you yeah i'm telling you didn't i see i'm telling you this person's pissed off we have the hermit in reverse like this person i feel like the fact that you're you keep saying no and you keep denying this person with the queen of swords like they're becoming angry or vendettive and then with the um hermit in reverse this is affecting their health like their mental health and their self-esteem okay this person does not like to um like say like they don't like to be rejected and because this person is persistent they feel like you should give in you should have given in by now okay this person i feel like they may not respect people's boundaries as well because if somebody keeps telling me no after they're like me after the first no i'm stopping i'm not gonna continue to ask somebody out if like this person's saying no or like you know if you know you invite somebody to do something and they tell you no like it doesn't have to be like just um you know romantically but just friendship as well like i will back off but this person like that's just me personally but i'm just giving an example like this person you may have told them no like five six seven times and they're still trying it's like after the first few no's, you should have gotten the point that this person's not interested. But it's not, like I said, with the King of Swords being here, this person is not viewing it from an emotional point. They're viewing it from a logical point where this person's like, okay, well, maybe I should try a different way. Like, it is instead of be like, okay, this person is not interested in me, I should just back off and leave them alone. And if they are interested, they already know I am, so they will come towards me. This person doesn't think like that. They think about, okay, well, I have to do it another way. Or I have to keep doing if i if i keep pushing eventually they're gonna give in okay and the fact that you're not giving in and the fact that you're just you know uh just being persistent with saying no this person is having a hard time dealing managing their emotions when it comes to that like they don't like to be rejected we have the ten of wands yeah it's becoming like a burden to this person it's like yo why is pal number one not accepting my offer but it's been a while since you've been saying no and your answer has not changed okay so and you also feel like this person's energy like it's off as well okay so who's coming towards you with a love offer yeah this person's ego is bruised nine of wands but nine of wands is also doing something repetitively as well keep doing it keep doing keep pushing keep pushing and this is what this person's doing with the ten of wands okay so who's coming towards you with a love offer okay we have yeah we have the night the page of wands so this person still wants to feel optimistic about it this person could be younger than you as well with the knight of wands um sorry i keep saying the knight of wands but this is the page of wands we have the three of swords yeah you rejected this person there's definitely a rejection here there's definitely a heartbreak here and it's coming from this person's side they're heartbroken by the fact that you keep rejecting them and they're still persistent with coming with this love offer but i feel like this person now is like becoming an obsession that they want you they they must have you this is how this person feels like they must have you they want to possess you with the devil being here twice that's what they want 
so who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming to yeah four swords this is like putting something to rest you already put it to rest though you're already done like you already told them no and you're you're sticking by your guns like you're like no i'm not doing this uh i said no and i'm sticking with it but you see the nine of cups this person sees you as wish fulfillment desirable and i could definitely understand why you're not interested with that energy because that person's energy like i said it, it's heavy we have the five of cups sorrow regret this person may be in sorrow or regret on how they approach the situation or they could just be in sorrow because you keep rejecting them and they don't understand why like they feel like okay well i'm handsome i'm beautiful i have a lot of things going on for myself you know i got my own business i'm financially stable because i'm getting like this person is financially stable we have the eight of pentacles we have the emperor they have boss energy however they just maybe don't understand social cues or like they may not respect people's boundaries or they're not emotionally in tune okay because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of cups here there's like a few cups here but this person is more on the mental side than the emotional side and with the queen of swords in reverse this is like vendative energy this is somebody who could be strategic but for the wrong things okay this is somebody who may plot against others to get what they want they don't care about who they step on as long as they get what they want so that person could be in that energy and that could be the reason why you're refusing this person's offer and then i feel like some of you are kind of like exhausted with this person because it's like yo i told you many times no why you keep pushing it okay this is what i'm getting here okay so some of you could be annoyed with this person so we're gonna be using the astro dies to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be. So who's coming towards you with a love offer? So who's coming towards you with a love offer? <laughs> okay wow guys capricorn again okay it definitely this person has capricorn uranus and capricorn in his own house 10th house yeah this person definitely has capricorn in their chart or that could be you okay yeah so that's that persistent energy okay this is there's nothing wrong with being persistent especially when you're trying to reach our goal but like you cannot push yourself on someone else like and overstep their boundaries okay and i feel like this is what this person is doing all right so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number two you picked the yellow rose sticker and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous spell or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you with a love offer, my pal number two? who's coming towards you what do we have here we have the emperor this is like a divine masculine divine feminine this is like a twin flame soulmate okay this is like a soulmate coming in this is i feel like it's a brand new energy not somebody from your past or somebody that you previously dated that's coming back around this is a positive energy this could be a boss somebody who has a their own business okay so who's coming towards guys i can't make it up okay yes 
this is a new love okay this person is like coming in with a love offer but it's like a mutual attraction and it's going to happen out of nowhere with the tower like how you're going to meet this person is going to be divinely guided i'm getting it's going to be like by you trusting your intuition trusting the divine listening to your intuitive nudges so i feel like this person i'm not getting like exactly how you're going to meet them because the tower is there it's going to be unforeseen events but it, i'm really getting this by you following your intuition you listen to spirit so let's say if you're going somewhere i'm just giving an example because this is what spirit is giving me and you're being told okay go left go left and you don't know why you're hearing go left go left knowing them well you have to go right but you're going left something's telling you go left for a reason and this is how you're going to meet this person okay or you're gonna bump into them or you're, you're gonna go to you're gonna go left and you're gonna see a store you're gonna be like oh i didn't know this store was there and you walk in that store this is how you meet this person it's like that that's what i'm getting like some type of unforeseen event that you just know your intuition is telling you just go there just trust it and you're like you you go and you trust it and this is how you meet this person okay i'm really getting like a positive energy from this person we have the strength card leo energy so this person is extremely powerful they, they may have some sort of influence yes and they're financially abundant they may have their own business here with the ten of pentacles um there's a lot of success around this person and there's a lot of positivity around this person. What I'm getting is, this is somebody who has has everything going on for themselves, okay? They are financially stable, they're very good looking, they have done the shadow work. This is somebody who is in a stage in their life where they are ready for love. This is what they're looking for, okay? And I feel like this person has been single for a while now as well. And that's why they're looking for love. Yeah, we have the nine of cups. We have the ace of wands. This person could be extremely creative. They could be in the entertainment industry. This person could be a model. They could be, um, they could also be a photographer, videographer, okay? But with the nine of cups, they live a life of luxury. They live a life of wish fulfillment. This person may love to eat. They like to overindulge. Maybe they like to drink wine a lot. Okay, so they may not have like a glass of wine every night, but like when they, they like to drink expensive, like, you know, winery or like they, they may even like wine tasting. Okay, so some of you, like maybe you're being called to start doing that or you always wanted to do wine tasting and then boom, you meet this person. Okay, this is what I'm getting here with the nine of cups. Yeah, this is somebody who travels for work or this is somebody who is structured, disciplined, strong will, determined, okay? This is somebody who gets things done. They could have cancer in their chart. They have amazing work ethics I'm getting as well with the 10 of pentacles and the chariot. This person could drive a BMW or I'm getting like a Lexus. They like foreign cars. This person likes um they have an expensive taste, but they could also afford it, okay? This is somebody um even though they have like expensive taste this is somebody who's really good with their money they make a lot of money i feel like this is somebody who also um they could be an engineer um they could create websites for big companies or like software or um i'm also getting like somebody who what's that called um, cyber security or something like that this person could be into that they may have their own company but I feel like this person is a techie okay somebody who is into um, yeah like they're tech okay like engineer like they're very intelligent I'm getting this is somebody who's very good with computers as well okay or they create apps or something like that okay but this they're, they're really good at like with computers I'm getting heavy with that okay they can work for those big brands, corporate brands, okay? This is what I'm getting here. So, or they could be, um, I'm also getting like this person could be, like like I said, in the, um, the tech industry and they work with big brands, but they could be a freelancer or they have their own business. They sell some sort of, I feel like they also sell softwares. I'm getting like a software engineer as well, okay? This person could be a software engineer. <laughs> so uh yeah they're very successful six of wands that's what i'm getting like somebody who's established 
that's what I mean, like software engineer, like something to do with computers. Okay. They create, like I said, software, they create apps or cybersecurity for some of you. Okay. And they have their own company. They work with, I feel like they work with big companies. Okay. And this is somebody who's extremely successful. They, they're highly respected in their field as well. They're highly sought after for their services. Yeah. With the emperor, this is a boss. Okay. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. This is somebody who's emotionally intelligent, highly intuitive as well. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you with a love offer? This is somebody who's extremely patient with the Seven of Pentacles. They are dedicated. This is somebody who likes to take their time. They don't like to rush the process. Yes, this is a visionary. They're action-oriented with the uh, um, Three of Wands. You know, they get things done. This is why they're highly sought after for their services. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you with a love offer? My pal number two. Yeah, we have the high priestess cancer energy again. And yeah, this person could definitely have cancer and we have um, the king of cups. So they could have fire and water. So we have, so their sign could be like um, Leo, Aries, Cancer. They could have Cancer Moon or Rising or something like that. Or that could be you. But this person is highly intuitive, okay? Um, wow, guys. High Priestess again. <laughs> yeah, this person is highly intuitive. Yeah, this is somebody who is definitely in touch with their emotions. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. For some of you, maybe you guys are going to collaborate together or they're going like the way you guys are going to meet is going to be unexpected i'm really getting that heavy on that and that's how they're going to come towards you it's like for some of you this person is going to feel like love at first sight like the moment that they lay eye on, lay eyes on you they, they're going to know like yeah that's that's this is she this is he okay he's the one she's the one like this is what i'm getting here we have the page of pentacles it's going to start very small this person, um, they could um, have like healthy boundaries with the page of pentacles. Uh, they're going to start small with you. They're not going to rush and try to ask you out right away. They may like, you know, ask you on a friendly date or business date or something like that to get to know you a little bit more. And then eventually when they feel like, okay, this is the right time or they feel like you're more comfortable with them, they're going to ask you out. Okay. This is what I'm getting here. So who's coming towards you? Yeah, this is somebody who's in tune with their emotions, with the King of Cups, highly intuitive individual, whether it is a woman or a man, um, this person's highly intuitive. They're in touch with their emotions. They understand, like this is why this person's gonna be taking their time with you. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to build something solid, like a solid foundation first before they move on to, you know, being lovers or anything like that. They don't like to rush things. They like to take their time to make sure that it's right, to make sure that, you know, you're comfortable with them as well as them being comfortable with you. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you? Wow, too many cards. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? My pal number two. Yeah, we have temperance. This is somebody who is calm, cool, and collected. This person is extremely wise. We have all the fire sign here. So this is somebody who is extremely passionate. They are definitely a passionate lover. And they're, uh, they are extremely romantic. This is the type of person that's going to go above and beyond to show you that they care. They are attentive to details. And this is somebody who is going to pay attention to you to find out what you like, what you dislike. This person is going to listen to you with a lot of care, okay? And I feel like this person, yeah, they're extremely intelligent with the King of Swords. Not only are they emotional, but they're also logical. So, you know, this person is a, a reasonable individual as well with the King of Swords. They are a wise counselor. They'll give you amazing advice, okay? And they will be emotionally understanding. They're not going to be too, like, stoic where they're just logical and they're not in touch with their emotions. They're going to have a balance of both, especially with the temperance being in the middle. This person is going to be extremely balanced in 
their emotion in their mind how they talk like they're going to be attentive to you they're going to make sure that they don't come across as too rigid okay this person is going to be very caring i'm getting so who's coming towards you with a love offer guys i can't make it up two cups i'm telling you this is going to be like what you're looking for in a partner okay I feel like you're gonna accept this love offer a lot of you some of you may not because you have free will but I feel like for the majority of you this person is gonna be like a breath of fresh air like you're gonna want to have this relationship with this person you're gonna want to give it a try give it a chance because the way this person is gonna come at you they're gonna come at you with ease they're gonna come at you with grace they're gonna come at you with love patience and understanding where it's gonna be hard for you to say no to that type of offer because it's gonna be like I said a breath a fresh air so who's coming towards you with a love offer we have the Sun card so Leo energy so this is somebody who has like a very powerful presence they are optimistic they have a beautiful energy to them people love to be around them people gravitate towards them okay and I really feel like this is gonna be a lot of you love at first sight for some of you it could be both sides so where you meet, when you meet them you're gonna feel love at first sight the same way that they will feel and if for a lot of you it could be just this person feels like love at first sight when they see you okay guys I can't make it up nine of cups again okay wish fulfillment desires who's coming towards you with a love offer we have the hermit okay this is somebody like I said they're extremely attentive to details um, they're also very wise okay very caring dedicated individual with the eight of pentacles this is somebody once they're invested in something like a project or someone like they love they give their all this is not the somebody who is one foot in one foot out the minute that they're in the minute that they choose you to be their girl to be their man to be their wife or husband or girlfriend boyfriend whatever it is that this person is going to choose to be with you they're going to give their full attention their full energy they're not going to leave any crumbs out this is somebody that's going to be 100% in for you and this is somebody who is queen of pentacles energy they're trustworthy they're reliable they're loving they're dependable ten of pentacles like there's a lot of, of abundance with this person and I feel like this person with the um, the Sun being here at the strength card and the hermit this is somebody who is extremely generous with their resources with their time their energy their effort like i really have a good energy good positive vibe about this person like pound number two i feel like this person is the one like this is what i'm getting here like this is somebody that like if you give this person a chance this is going to be a connection that's going to last the test of time because this is not the type of person that's gonna give up easily you know they're going to be extremely invested in you invested in this connection to make sure that it lasts the test of time this has the potential to lead to marriage okay this is what i'm getting here so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so who's coming towards you with a love offer my pal number two who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming towards you with a love offer oh wow we have a Virgo 10th house and then we have Jupiter so this person could have Jupiter Virgo in Jupiter or Virgo in 10th house or that could be you okay so that's all I have for you my pal number two I hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number three you picked the red rose sticker and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in 
So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Pile number three. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Pile number three. Who is coming towards you with a love offer? We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. That could be you or this person, but I feel like this person is trying to manifest you. They're trying to manifest an encounter with you. This could be somebody who is in the public eye. They could be a professional speaker or that could be you, but this is, I'm getting like manifestation here, okay? So who's coming towards you with a love offer? Yeah, because you guys could be at a distance from each other. Some of you could be like a fan, somebody who's watching you online and they know you guys are at a distance. So let's say maybe you are, I'm getting like, you know, across the waters, across the board. So countries that are across like, you know, that they have borders. So Canada, US, okay. Um, same thing like, you know, in Europe, like Italy, Portugal, Spain, something like that where, you know, it's like a the country next door, like there is a border. So there is a distance between the two of you or like, you know, the Caribbeans. Okay. They could be from the Caribbeans and then you're in another island and like you, it's like something to do online and you guys are not close to each other. And this is why this person's trying to manifest you or manifest a way to get to you or like, I'm really getting that vibe or they don't have to be like, you know, the country next door. It could just be a different continent altogether okay so who's coming towards you with a love offer yeah you see didn't i say i'm telling you the world card this is like this is somebody at a big distance from you this is why i was getting like another continent this person could be let's say i feel like you pile number three you could be an influencer or have some sort of online presence and this person's watching you at a distance so you know like let's say you're in the u.s and this person is in africa that's a big distance okay or they in europe or something like that there's a really big distance between the two of you and it's not like this person cannot get to you but it's not gonna be easy okay like to get to you so that could be one thing i feel like yeah this person's watching you online page of swords they're, that's why they can't come to you right away and they're trying to manifest you trying to manifest like an encounter. So this is why I'm getting like, this person could be a motivational speaker. They could travel for work. So if they are a motivational speaker, this person could be doing some sort of like engagement uh, event in your location, in your town or something like that. And this is why they're trying to manifest you. If they're not like, let's say if they're in the same country as you, but just in a different city, they may want to travel to you and they're hoping that they would like, you know, for a miracle or something that you guys come into each other, come like into contact with each other. Okay. Yeah. Some, at some sort of celebration with the four of wands. Okay, I'm really like some sort of celebration with the four of wands. We have the king of pentacles. This is somebody who is a boss, somebody who is financially abundant, financially stable, reliable, trustworthy. I'm also getting like this person likes to dress really nicely. They have they they have the means to travel. Like for them to get to you, I'm not getting like it's going to be extremely hard to do so, but it's going to be like hit or miss because it's like how they're gonna know you're gonna be there like how are they gonna find you they're not gonna just come into your dm and be like oh i wanna be with you meet me there you know <laughs> like they're like a stranger but it's somebody who watches you often or this is somebody who had their eyes on you for a long time and now they want to you know they want to take the next step and come towards you and then maybe i feel like some of you could be motivational speakers you're the one who's a motivational speaker or you are you have some sort of online presence maybe you do do some sort of event and this person may want to go to your event if you are the motivational speaker or you're just a coach or something like that this person's gonna come to you they're gonna find a way to come to you they're gonna find a way to manifest um some sort of encounter with you we have the sun card 
okay yeah i feel like both of you could be in the spotlight or this person could be in the spotlight okay and with the sun card i feel like this person has some sort of influence or popularity some of you this person could be a fashion designer they could be a photographer they could be a model they could be in the beauty industry or i'm gonna like fashion or beauty industry this person could also be an athlete for some of you because they you know athletes they do travel the world they travel to different places depending on the type of sport that they do and where they have their matches and stuff like that but this is somebody who may travel travel as well for work and they could be I don't know why I'm getting like they could be an athlete okay or they could be a coach okay some of you this person could be a fitness instructor as well but they do something online who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming towards you with a love offer yeah we have the page of wands this is somebody who's optimistic they could be young at heart okay because we have two pages but we also have the king of pentacles so this is somebody who is definitely you know they have a good head on the shoulders they're you know financially stable in abundance but they have like there there's a youthfulness about this person with the knight not sorry the page of wands okay this is somebody who's extremely optimistic so who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you with a love offer, my pal number three? What do we, guys, Ace of Cups, I'm telling you. <laughs> this person is definitely coming in with a lot of love. And I feel like this person has been watching you for a long time. Okay, they've been, they definitely are a follower of yours. Because I feel like pal number three, you do have some sort of online presence. Whether it is big or small, this person has been a follower of yours for a minute, okay? And they enjoy your content. This person may even share your content, but they watch you like clockwork, okay? and emperor okay boss yeah this person has their own business okay they they're a boss for sure and this is like twin flame soulmate energy this person feels like you guys are twin flames because we also have the four of wands here and this person is determined to manifest you i'm really getting like heavy on the manifestation with the magician energy Okay, this person wants to have a chance encounter with you and they're convinced that they're going to make it happen okay this is somebody who has unshakable will they whenever they put their mind into doing something they get it done all right and i'm also gonna like with the emperor energy this is somebody who has their own like yeah we have the eight of wands this is somebody who has their own business or a freelancer they travel for work or they travel all the time eight of wands Maybe some of you, I feel like some of you have seen, have met this person before at some sort of a conference or like event, vendor, like this person could be a vendor as well. Like let's say if you are a beautician or esthetician or like model, you may have went to some sort of event where you know where they have a lot of vendors and they sell their products this person could have been a vendor there as well okay for some of you not all of you okay and this is how you guys met who's coming towards you with a love offer yeah this person's very strong okay they're courageous they're influential with the strength card we have leo energy twice aries uh, virgo gemini okay this person could be any of those signs but with that energy with the strength card this person is uh extremely courageous yeah they're there's some sort of wow there is some sort of financial or yeah there's like a financial transaction between the two of you or financial opportunity business opportunity with the ace of pentacles this is how you guys met or this is how you guys are going to link up or this is how this person is going to be able to get a hold of you with the uh um ace of pentacles but there's a lot of abundance this person's financially stable for sure so who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming towards you with a love offer we have the wheel of fortune it came out in reverse but i was being called to take it upright this is somebody we have justice libra energy with the wheel of fortune yeah this person's trying to manifest a chance encounter with you some of you this person could be in the legal field or that could be you 
or there could be some sort of contract that's going to be signed between the two of you guys this is why this person feels like you guys are meant to be together you guys could be in a similar field with the queen and the king of pentacles yeah this person feels like you guys have similar goals similar mindsets similar work ethics okay with the queen of pentacles here this person may have a lot on their plate they do a lot of things like this is somebody who's always on the go 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 especially with the eight of wands they travel one city every like maybe every week they're in a different city uh this is somebody who may have a team of people that work with them as well so who's coming towards you with a love offer yeah i'm telling you this person has some sort of popularity or influence online or that could be you as well but with the star being here aquarius energy there's definitely some sort of popularity influence this person is extremely influential or you could be influential here or the both of you are influential this is why i was getting like online presence type of like and this is how this person gets to see you or they know of you or this is how you guys linked up initially because some of you have already met this person but they never came at you with a love offer as of yet okay who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming towards you with a love offer just one please who's coming towards you with a love offer i just saw the lovers Woo, emperor again guys i'm telling you this is a boss this is somebody who calls the shots okay like they have a team of people that work with them i'm getting like heavy on like working with a group of people because um aquarius is ruled by the 11th house this is well this is not ruled by their 11th house but this is aquarius's house and this is community group of the people coming together okay so i feel like and also aquarius is the humanitarian sign so i feel like this person has a group of people working with them this is why i'm getting like gala or convention or something like that um some sort of vendor event this is how you guys met or you're about to um, link up with this person maybe you are hosting some sort of event and they're going to be there i really feel like you guys are going to like this person's gonna take their chance there because they're gonna be able to see like let's say for instance you are an influencer or you are a motivational speaker or something like that like you may host like an event in this person's city and this is how they're gonna be like okay well this is my manifestation moment this is my moment like they're coming in my city i'm gonna go to their event i feel like this is gonna be something like that or they're gonna be hosting an event in your city and you're gonna pop up because there's something mutual between the two of you that you know whatever they do you guys like you are doing the same thing so it's gonna be of interest to you to go there okay i'm getting that vibe heavy and this is how this person is going to um come in with this love offer guys empress okay empress energy we have emperor an empress so you guys are definitely a match and not only that we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles and the four of wands i'm telling you this is something to do with beauty as well yeah you see three of cups like some sort of celebration coming together linking up with friends some of you could have a mutual friend together and this person is using this person to get to you as well three of pentacles i'm telling you there's some sort of like mutual understanding or you guys work in the same field and this is how you guys are going to see each other or this person is going to use that opportunity to talk to you. Yeah, they're going to be traveling towards you with the eight of wands. Okay, this is the truth, guys. You're going to gain some sort of clarity about this person too. So who's coming towards you with a love offer? Who's coming towards you with a love offer? Just one more card, please, Spirit. Just one more. Just one, please. Who's coming towards you with a love offer? That's too many cards. Just one, please. Just one. Thank you. Six of Pentacles. This is going to be an event. Okay? Some sort of offering. There's going to be... Um, transaction here a mutual transaction is going to be beneficial for both sides 
uh, with the six of pentacles this person could be generous as well but i feel like some sort of event that's going to be hosted either you're going to be the one hosting it or they're going to be the one hosting it or someone mutual a mutual acquaintance that's going to be hosting it and both of you guys are going to go because you're going to be invited to the event okay so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so who's coming towards you with a love offer my pal number three who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming towards you with a love offer who's coming towards you we have mars aries okay so aries in his own house or eighth house okay so aries you know sorry i said house but ruling planet or aries in eighth house so that could be you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye